championships. That being said, we're ready to announce the groups for the fall championships. Are you ready? Here we go. Let's go ahead and look at group A. This is going to be group A of the fall championships. We have Lenok the defending champion from the Summer Championships, and of course, following up him is Hero. Um, of course, he got sixth place, the player from Team Liquid, fan favorite, amazing Protoss style. We also have Oz, who absolutely dismantled Alive in beautiful PVT in the MVP playoffs to get this spot vibe. We just saw him play. Uh, He's also the WCS United States Champion, the WCS North American second place finisher. He's got a point to prove that he can stamp to the Korean players in this group. And of course, we have San, another fan favorite, fought his way through the Korean online qualifier. 2 0 Puma, 2 1 SC, 2 0 Inori, 2 1 Maru. He's going to create some raves at the fall championships. And of course, the Pro League spot that has yet to be decided. It's either going to be Flash, Haiva, Su, or Solki. That will depend on the results of the MVP Invitational for the seedings, of course two open players from the open bracket. Let's go ahead and move on to group B, where we have Naniwa, of course, amazing, amazing Protoss player, the best performing foreigner, uh, the best performing uh, player on the MLG side of the MVP Invitational, the only guy to have a positive record against the Pro League uh, guys. Look for him to make waves at the Fall Championships. The STC has got to be smiling with the group he has. He was in the, he was in the top four in the MLG Summer Championships, going five and zero against series against Protoss players in a group with all Protoss so far. He's got to be so happy. Grubby has shown consistent improvement throughout the MLG season. Lost to the STC in the Summer Championships. He's going to be out for revenge. And of course, Juan Sin qualifying through the North American qualifiers. He, he has been to so many MLG championships. This is his first chance in group play. He's going to he's going to have a. a Point to prove oh, yeah. that he can match with these guys. Of course, rounding out the Protoss players in this group, we have Baby Knight. This guy is so underrated. He is so good from FXO in the EU qualifier for this tournament to get inside, uh, to get into group play. He 2 1 Thorzane, 2 1 Nurcio, 2 1 Sword of. He was also the top finishing Protoss at the WCS EU finals. Look out for him. And of course, the Pro League player will be decided as the MVP Invitational goes along. And of course, the open players uh, will come from the open bracket. Let's go ahead and move on to group C, where Violet is going to be at the top there. Of course, Team Azubu, living in Texas, always performs extremely well at MLGs. Look out for him. Of course, he was 5th, 6th at the MLG Championships. Tasia and Revival both made top 8 in the MLG Summer Championships. Tasia knocked out Revival there. Revival has got to be happy to be in the group where he has a shot for revenge. Major, we just saw him oh, yeah. absolutely dismantle Hawk. Especially loves watching his TVZ, his mech play against Zerg. It's going to be so fun to watch against Life Revival, Violet, and potentially more Zergs also winning WCS Max. Of course, Major from Root Gaming, an amazing team. But rounding out the group, we have Life, amazing Zerg player. This guy didn't really come out of nowhere, but he kind of came out of nowhere to win the GSL, of course, the Royal Rotor there. Amazing Zerg player. Look out for him at the Vol Championships. I said he would get top, what did I, I said top three after he qualified through the open bracket, and I'm sticking to that decision. Of course, the Pro League will be rounded out as the MVP finishes, and then, and then again, the two guys from the open bracket. That brings us to Group D, where we have Hart at the top, of course, very consistent Terran player. You can never count him out of it. First made top eight in the MLG Summer Championships, and in the round before he made a top eight, he knocked out Daisy. Daisy didn't get that top eight spot, but went through the European qualifiers, dominated that qualifier, got into the group with the guy who knocked him out in Summer Championships, is going to be out for revenge. Bomber has an MLG title, but it's from over a year ago. Finally, he's back here in the group stages, ready to take home a second title. Going against all these Koreans is Scarlet, the North American sweetheart. She has been dominating the North American scene, win winning absolutely everything. And of course, the Pro League uh, guy is going to be, I don't know, he's either going to be Flash, Hiva, Su, Sulky. Again, depending on the seedings and depending on how the MVP Invitational rounds up. And of course, Open Player 4, Open Player 5 are going to be coming from the Open Bracket. But that wraps up all the groups. So many amazing players. The MLG Fall Championships is going to be absolutely amazing. Amazing. Make sure you guys go buy your HD pass at store.majorlygaming.com and if you can, attend in person. But that wraps up the day. Coming up, we got so much more StarCraft 2 coming at you over the next few days. Let's go ahead and take a look at the schedule.
tomorrow. We're going to start again at 7 p.m. Eastern with the MVP uh, M Major League Game versus Pro League quarter finals. And of course, we have a prize fight on Wednesday for League of Legends. And then Thursday, we have the quarterfinals of MVP. Uh, and then Friday, we have the semifinals Monday. It's going to be the MVP Grand Finals where $10,000 is going to be taken home. But of course, let's get a bit, a little bit more specific and talk about what's coming up tomorrow at MajorLeagueGaming.com slash live. It's going to be Sulky versus Hiva, followed by Sue versus Flash. Those matches are going to be absolutely amazing. I can't wait for those. Of course, Flash, one of the best, best of seven series I have ever seen in StarCraft II history against Ever and Sue. Such a dominating Zerg player. It was really, really impressive, Flash first effort, but Sue totally dominated Baby. Can he do the same against Flash? Sulky showed excellent ZVZ against Jadong. Hive's ZVZ is yet to be tested. Yeah, guys, it's going to be absolutely amazing, and it all resumes tomorrow. But that does it for the night. Thank you so much for watching again. For, for Axelab, for everyone at MLG, my name is Axel Toss. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.